हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द एंटेनाज इन द वेव प्रोपोगेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट द फेज एरेज we have already seen some different kind of arrays in the previous videos now we are going to focus our discussion on the phased array phased arrays are really important type of array now why because i can change the direction of the output beam maxima without changing mechanically any of the element so here we will be having the phase shifters phase shifters are going to change the phase when the phase is changed constructive or destructive interference will happen and due to which the direction of maxima has changed so if i have moved the location of the receiver i can change the direction of the transmitting antenna as well or the direction of transmitting beam as well without changing any component or element mechanically inside the structure so i hope you understood a lot of things so now let's discuss in detail about the phased array so phased array so here the direction of the output is controlled by the phase or the time delay elements right so these are called the phase delay elements or the time delay elements which are there with each and every radiating elements inside the linear array right so each antenna element so radiating element is antennas only so at with antenna we have one phase or time delay device which is going to control the phase of the antenna we know if i change the phase of the antenna the output radiation is going to change now if i change the phase or time delay it is going to change the output phase of the antenna so with every radiating element we have a phase shifter right so now the phase shifter is going to give some different phase to the signal right so phase of the signal emitted from each oscillating element is going to shift now when the phase is shift the output beam is shifted right so output beam has relocated to a new location now here i can say the shifting of the output beam can happen with the phase shifting or the phase delay devices only right so i don't need to mechanically change any of the structure i don't need to change the antennas i don't need to change their phase mechanically i won't do that so here in this case i will just change the phase i will even not change the distance between the two antennas right so here we will be having the constructive and the destructive interference now when the phases are changed the location of the constructive and the destructive interference are going to change and due to which i am going to get the beam at a new location and this process is called the steering of the beam the steering of the beam means the relocation of the beam to a new location so now the constructive and destructive interference is going to give the steering of the beam in the desired direction and with the help of phase delay or the phase shifter i can change the steering of the beam in the direct uh, desired direction now for the pattern shaping i am going to change the amplitude if i want to change the pattern i can change the amplitude so amplitude is going to change the pattern and phase is going to change the direction inside the phased array so now the beam is changing the direction and it is changing the directivity means the width of the beam in microseconds this is the beauty of the phased array that here i can even change the direction if once my receiver is at this location and at the next time my receiver at is this location so i can change the direction of the transmitted wave in sec microseconds so this is a very beautiful thing about the phased arrays that it can change the direction it can change the directivity the width of the beam also change in the microseconds so this is how the structure will be looking like so we have the antenna elements as i told you with each and every antenna elements we will be having the phase shifter so phase shifters are really important components so in between the two antenna elements we have the distance d right so here we have the transmitter or the receiver 
Now the array factor, the maximum array factor can be given by the formula 2 pi d upon lambda sin theta minus sin theta naught which will be equal to 2 pi into p, right? So now here this term is going to give me the p and now the grating lobes. Grating lobes, what happens? When I change the direction of the beam, what happens? The beam can act at a certain angle, it can shift in the opposite direction as well. So, if the beam is shifted in the opposite direction, the maxima is not there in the desired direction, we are calling it as the grating lobes. So, grating lobes are occurring when sin theta p is equal to sin theta naught plus p lambda upon d. And the condition to avoid the grating lobe is that d upon lambda naught, lambda naught is the operational frequency, so d upon lambda naught is less than 1 upon 1 plus sin theta naught. So, you can see the theta naught, the steering angle, it, it is dependent upon the grating lobe. So, if I change the steering angle too much, it might be possible that grating lobes might occur and the grating lobes means the output is going to give in the opposite direction than it was desired. So, it is not desirable. So, we have to avoid the grating lobe condition, right? We have to work in this condition always, right? Now, coming to the psi. Now, how the phase shifting is done. We all have studied about psi in a various classes. Psi was beta d cos phi plus alpha. So now here, this was the initial phase alpha. Now when the phase is zero, when alpha is zero, the output will be looking like this. Now when we will be having some alpha. So if I change the alpha, I will be having alpha not equal to zero, then the output will be shifted. Right, so with the help of this phase, I can shift the output beam as well. Now, delta phi, delta phi is the phase shift. Phase shift is given as 360 degree into d. d is the distance between the two elements upon lambda sine of this angle. This angle is called the steering angle. Right, the angle at which I have to steer my radiation. So now coming to the advantages of phased array. So what are the different advantage? First advantage we all know now that it is going to give me the output radiation in different direction without mechanically changing any of the components. So here we will be having the high antenna gain with large side lobe attenuation. So gain would be very high, side lobes would be very less so we won't have a problem of power loss in the side lobe as well. So we will be having the fast change of the beam direction electronically. I told you the beam direction was changing in the microsecond. So all these things are happening electronically only. We don't need to mechanically change any of the components. So we will be having the multi-function operation by simultaneous generation of multiple beams. We can generate the multiple beams also simultaneously by changing the phase only, right? I know when I change the phase, sometimes I can get the bidirectional radiation pattern as well. So now here we have the two radiation maxima. So this is how I can get the multiple beams when I change the phase. So all these things are dependent upon the phase. If I change the phase, the output beam are going to change. Failure of some components are not going to fail the overall structure. The overall failure can be avoided if only one or two components are failed, right? So if the phase shifter, some of the phase shifters are not working, I can compensate for them, right? Now coming to the disadvantages. So disadvantage is that first it is costly, it's having the complex structure. You can see with each and every antenna elements, we have one phase shifter, so it is complex, it is costly, right? So we will be having the deformation of antenna pattern during the beam steering as well. So at the moment, I am changing the direction of the beam. During that time, the deformation of the beam pattern might happen and due to which I can have the degraded beam pattern at the output. So now coming to the applications of the phased arrays, first is used in the radar, right? We all know what is radar. It can be used in the radars, it can be used in the smart antennas and at last it can be used for the direction finding purposes as well. So I hope you understood each one of these things in detail about the phased array. If you have any doubt, you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. 
गिव मी योर फीडबैक थैंक यू सो मच